Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Virtue's Last Reward. Last time, post uh, Ambedet's game, we did a little exploring of the place, had some interesting chats with everyone, talked about the this radical sits virus thing that nobody really knows about, if it's real or not. We talked with Tenmyoji, he's sussy with uh, Quirk being weird, and we talked with Alice and Clover about the the previous nonary game and we just stopped right before uh Tenmyoji barged in and something apparently happened to luna so let's see what's going on with that or is she gone disappeared oh wait no no maybe he's looking for luna to something happens with quirk okay Maybe Luna's safe. Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> that changes what happened. <laughs> that changes our concern. But, you know, Quartz in danger, even though he's a little weird. Don't want to see him die. Yet. Hey, calm down. What happened to Quark? Dun dun dun. He, she's in the lounge. We just were with him. I mean, he was being weird, so made sense. Luna's over in the lounge. Where's Quirk? Got it. I'll go get Luna. You head back to the infirmary. Clover, Alice, you're with me. Shouldn't one person go with Tenmyoji? Guess it's okay. We boarded out of the crew quarters and headed towards the lounge and Luna. Oh. The whole process took only a few minutes. The machine scanned Quartz's body and within seconds his results lit up on the screen. Words too complicated for me to understand scrolled across it and as she read them Luna's face grew dark. She bit her lip and just stood there for a moment, looking down at Quirk before she spoke. Uh, radical sits? I felt my stomach lurch. Don't tell me. What? Uh, this is just showing up on the computer. <laughs> Have you heard of this virus? Radical sits, I mean. What if it is just a fake virus and it is some psychological thing and something is wrong with Quirk and they knew Luna would chat and it's causing weird panic? <laughs> That's so weird, though. Have you heard of this virus? Radical sits, I mean. Yeah, they have. Oh. Okay. まさかクオークがあのウイルスに感染してしまったとは教えてくれどうすればクオークは助かるんじゃアダムの解析結果によると and we have the injection done underneath. I mean, we weren't looking for it, but it has five memories better than our. I mean, we have a super good memory, but maybe we didn't register. Tenmyoji's voice broke as he spoke. With a tortured sigh, he collapsed to his knees. Oh, I thought he collapsed, like, for reals. Oh. 
Bro, you've still been creepy. What the? Give him back his hat, dude. He's pissed. Bro, it's kinda it reminds me of Bird Nest from 999. Quartz hand moved like lightning. He grabbed hold of the staple and was driving it straight towards his heart. Okay, well, that's not what I was thinking of, actually. Stop! What the? Oh, we saved him! Thought he was dead for sure. Hmm. Pretty tough for a kid. Hey, guys. I could use a hand here. <laughs> Ten Myoji. What the hell are you doing? Get over here. Ten Myoji. Can you even hear me? Oh, God. What? What did you put in him, Tenmyoji? Or did Tenmyoji put his grandson or some sort of relative in this body? Some weird experiment. Jesus. Jesus, this kid's lost it. Hey, somebody get that scapel away from him. Thank you, Clover. Good job, Clover. Quark barely even seemed to notice the loss of the scapel. He continued to scream and writhe like he was possessed. What are we going to do? We gotta calm him down somehow. Did you just punch him? <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, yes. Dude, dude, I forgot. That knocked them out for nine minutes. Clover knows. Well, maybe Clover doesn't know. That's what Ace used. He's freaking possessed, dude. He needs an exorcist, not drugs. Got the gun. Bzzz. We got him. No more crazy possession. Give him back his hat, man. He needs it. It's all about keeping him in line. Alright, I guess we're good for now. 
Nine minutes. Joke. It was a nine minutes. I thought it was nine minutes. I mean, it less have made sense because Ace was out for a bit, huh? I thought it was nine minutes. Could be wrong. He was a grown man in a boy's body. She's just using her medical knowledge to predict. I kind of trust Luna Loki, even though I kind of suspected her early. It was just a vibe check, but I kind of believe her now. Kind of believe that if, if something makes you super frantic, you use more strength than you can, like consciously. I think I think I heard that somewhere, so I believe. No, I think he was just possessed. <laughs> no, but maybe that's also true. Maybe radical sits makes you think you're trapped in another body or something. I don't know. Or what if it has to do with something from 999? You know how they communicated and saw through other people's bodies, or at least June could. What if this is like something like that? I don't. I don't know. What that would mean, but like maybe <laughs> just to connect some stuff. <laughs> so, what kind of virus is Radical Six? I pulled out the newspaper article from my pocket and looked at it again. Everyone else crowded in. Oh, we had this conversation. I don't think it is. It's like, why the fuck are they playing a game? It makes no sense. The, the only thing I can think of is it... It was, but it, the article is like pretty recent, right? I guess we don't know how recent it is. I don't know, dude. Dio ran through what he told the rest of us in the lounge. Uh, I, I can see it being fake, I can see it not being fake. I don't know. If the Adam predicted it, because that's a legit machine confirmed by Luna. Unless it was hat. <laughs> Sorry, yawning. <laughs> that was, I was trying to say something while yawning. Like, I low key believe Dio, but obviously, you know, the common thing is like, oh, if he's saying all this, then it has to be true. And, you know, whenever I bring this up, I just. I just say don't don't follow that logic. If something's showing all that, if a story is pointing evidence at one thing, dismissing it just because it's pointing evidence at that thing is like, I don't think that's good logic because there's actually like reasoning and stuff. So I, I I believe Dio. He's making some good points, and just because it's being brought up, I don't I don't I'm not dismissing it. But I mean. To be fair, it makes more sense that Dio's right than the other stuff. We'll need a lot more information. Because again, we would know what it is if the World Health Organization issued an order. So obviously something's going on here. With our memory. 
Nope. And like Clover, like everyone seems to have their memories intact. Like I don't think they're wiping it or anything. They could be or changing it. But like if Clover and Alice are part of some freaking organization or something, then it's like... Then I don't know. I feel like it's safer to say that maybe they... Their memories didn't get fucked? I don't know, dude. It's so weird. What? What? <laughs> what? Alice? Cause she's in the freaking government organization like uh, Sigma said. Whoa, 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 Alice, what the hell? Explain. Time. Oh, that's anticlimactic. Shit. Five minutes. There's someone just running without quirk. And he's solo, so he's just not gonna get a card and miss out on some points. As if you'd tell us even if there was time, right? <laughs> okay. It's time for some escape action. Well... <laughs> What's Ten Myoji? He's solo. Oh no. True, every everyone needs to go. Can't just wait it out like in uh nine nine nine, huh? Yo. Thank you, Kay. Dude, Kay's a good boy. Can't change my opinion on him. Don't accidentally kill him. But their metal body. Yes. Advice to man, we all began to run. The doors opened and we spelled out into the warehouse. Alright. How are we doing this with Quirt now? Knocked out. I'm not taking that demon boy with me. <laughs> That's for sure. Yes. I still think we don't tend Miyoji. It's really weird. I kind of low key like Dio, even though I think he would press negative on us. Or betray, not negative. I don't know, I'm feeling ten Miyoji, dude. <laughs> Might as well. Oops. Sorry. Uh, what are our options? The option five laid out for us are the following. Option A. Clover and I, Magenta, pair up with Ten Miyoji, Sion to go through the blue door. Luna and Fi, Sion, pair up with Dio to go through the green door. K and Alice, pair up with Quark to go to the red door. Or, we go with Dio to the red door. Go with Quark. Okay, it's only, it doesn't, we got it, we got it. I'm not going with Quark. I don't trust this kid, man. It's some devil shit.
It's a 10 Miyoji die. Bring back the combo, bro. Me and 10 Miyoji, great minds think alike. Just don't snake me this time. I'm gonna put my trust into 10 Miyoji and believe. <laughs> and press, press ally. Come on. So, how do we want to pair up? What do you mean? Oh, that's me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> told you, Dio, you're out of the out of the zone, man. It's unlucky. Even though I think Quirt might have done it. <laughs> Wait. Oh shit! If you go with Ten Miyoji, does Alice get Dio? No, they get Quirk. Okay, that's that's a good deal then. Though it would be funny to give her Dio. <laughs> How do we give her? Oh, I don't want it to bring Quirk though. It's fucked up. I believe Dio, dude. I don't know why. I believe him. He's not though, dude. I don't want him waking up. I glanced over at Quirk. He looked tiny, cradled in his arms, fast asleep. If I didn't know better, I'd think he was just a kid who'd tired himself out from playing too hard. <laughs> I mean, it's a fine reaction. Yeah, it's natural. What about my request? We're going to see. No, we're not trying to see. I, I like A. Luna, well, Luna's in a pair. Luna's kind of cute, Loki, even though her hairstyle is kind of... Her, uh, I don't like it. I don't like it, but... I like her. Wait, is Luna solo? They're both pairs now, though. Yeah. And since you're a pair too, there's no way you'd end up going through the same door as them. Um, I, let's see. Clover and I are, we're a pair. That meant I had to choose one of the three solos. Quirt? No, 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 no. Ten Miyoji, dude. We're, we're taking the ten Miyoji gambit and believing in the fat ally, alright? Oh, baby. I'll take ten Miyoji, so we'll go through the blue door. Hey, listen, man. I believe in you this time. Please. Exactly, so I'll just make you pick an ally this time. Well, I guess I should say you won't have a choice. <laughs> I won't uncorrupt you. We will be both pure boys with our boy K and escape together. Heh. <laughs> I'd love to, but we don't really have time. Ask me again later, okay? This is the Ten Miyoji Redemption arc. Even though we had that whole speech the last two episodes about never trusting them again. I changed my mind, I guess. Come on, Dio, you have two... Two girls left. If you screw them over, you got nothing, bro. 
連れて赤の扉に異論のあるものよしならばこれで決まりだなティアリスクウォークのことよろしく頼むぞ心配は無用です They should have brought the gun and some sopro just in case, man. Hurry up, guys. The door is closing. Okay. With only seconds to spare, we dash through the blue door. Oh, baby. I'm like. Tired too. <laughs> this might be rough, but I am a puzzle master, so it's winnable. Where are we going this time? What the? Oh, that's the scanner. That was weird. Oh, look at this map. Jesus. Three doors. Which one should we take? Oh, two of them are locked. Oh, never mind. They're all locked. And a scanner. Oh? Oh, hey, looks like one of them opened. Might as well, then. Okay. I don't mind. Pet! What the heck's a pet? Oh, baby. This is a pretty empty room, comparably. So this is the exit, huh? Nothing. Lock tight, won't even budge. So what the hell is this place? <laughs> okay, good one, dude. Unless it's, it's probably an acronym or abbreviation or something, but for what? Prepared emergency chocolate? Private exlicitical commode? I don't know what that is. Okay. What's it say? Bro, are we underwater? Maybe? Oh, never mind. I forgot. <laughs> but maybe we're underwater anyways. Maybe this is the sh... I mean, that doesn't make sense. Never mind. <laughs> what? それ。なお、Whoa, whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Are they trying to say the air out there is full of some sort of horrible virus? Oh, so I was misunderstanding. So, like, the next area you need the hazmat suit on, right? Oh, man. Then that newspaper article was true. Unless it's just role play, role playing. Several long moments of silence crawled past. The three of us just started, stared at one another, our minds working to make sense of this new information. 
Eventually, Clover shuffled to one of the lockers and opened it. Yo, look at that. We won't be able to get into the pressure exchange thing unless we've got those on then. You drip? So where's the actual decompression room? Ah, okay. I didn't know what that was. Oh yeah. So that brings you up or down? Oh. This room's divided into two floors, upper and lower. Well, that's pretty big. Won't open, huh? Okay, it's probably pointless, but humor me on this. Let's go put on those suits, come back here, and then try the door again. Maybe, just maybe, we can get out. Mm. <laughs> yeah. But, well, let's have a look around anyway. Maybe we'll find something about that virus. Bing. Oh yeah, they don't do that in this one. Go right to seek a way out. Alright, so this is bigger than we thought. Two floors. Pet. Oh, what the fuck? We ignore that. I clicked siren? Siren. I read spinning light. It looks like a police tire light. There's the lift. Got some meters. Is that a barometer? The needle's in the middle. It says 1.5 atmospheres. That must be the normal pressure for this building. Remember? It said something in the manual about the pressure in here being higher than the pressure outside. What about the boudins? Or can we not click it? Nope. Okay. We huddle. Lockers. Box? Hey, it's a cardboard box. This is all junk. Nothing useful in here. Cardboard box filled with junk. As usual as is usually the case with junk, none of it looks useful. It won't open. Is it locked? Yeah, it looks like it. So we need a key. Shit, it's locked up tight. Hmm. Hmm. What are you trying to do? Use X-ray vision. Dude, I forgot Clover's memeiness. She was so fun to do escape rooms with in 999. Okay, so we'll need two keys, maybe? Wow, wow, wow. Oh, look up, look up. I don't know if that's ever useful. A red spinny light. Okay. A red spinny... What? Oh, God. Dude, that scares me, man. Hey, did you see the panel on the door? Do you know what it does? Go ahead and touch it. I doubt it'll do anything. What? Why? Before entering the decompression chamber, please put on your viral protection suit. Failure to do so will prevent you from entering the decompression chamber. See? A decompression chamber, we need to put the protective suits if you want to get in. Okay. Then we have the freaking fat bunny. Fat zero. Hey, look! It's Zero Junior! It's only a model. A model? Yeah, a fake, a replica, not the real thing. Look at him, he's way too chubby. Why would they put a model of Zero Junior in there? He's just screwing with us. Bastard. 
What if it's real? There's a model of Zero Junior on the other side of the window. Okay, so there's not much we can do on this side. Let's go up again. Down more? Everybody on? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, here we go. Nope, can't go down more. Okay. Well, I saw that. Sorry. 25113. Huh? Is there something in there? That's like a key. I feel like that last panel is supposed to open. And of course it's locked. So we can't get to the key, huh? That would be too easy. I wonder what this number is. Do you think that maybe it's a hint to help us unlock the panel? Hmm. Hmm. 25113, huh? I wonder what these five cylinders are about. Hmm. Press the channel button above and below the column to change the image. Change all five images as appropriate, then press the yellow button on the right. All right, let's do this. I don't get it. I, obviously, it's something. It's not sides. Obviously. Is it like shapes within? Because this is one shape. This is two shapes. No, what am I? This is like. Four shapes. Ah, <laughs> uh, is it corners? But that's zero. That's, uh, five. That's four. That's what? Big, big number. Is it triangles? Is that gonna be three triangles? I don't know, let's try stuff. Three triangles. What has one triangle? This has no triangles. That has one triangle. That is like. A lot. That is two. I feel like this is wrong. <laughs> no. Well, we'll come back to it. Ah, uh, I don't get it. Oh no. <laughs> we'll, tr we'll come back to it later. Let's look around this room first. It's a wall. Some lotter tech. One of the protective suits. If you put these on, we should be able to get into the depression chamber. Well, let's do it then. Yeah, we'll get that key later, dude. You managed to get it on? Yeah. It's a little bit on me, but I think it should be okay. I'm ready to go. Good. Should we go, to go then? Yeah, might as well. Well, hold on a second. What the? There's more lockers. Those are safe. What's happening here, I guess? You think we're supposed to sit on the stool? What's going to happen if you do that? It'll go round and round and round and you'll get dizzy. I'm just messing with you. You see how there's a sort of panel over there? I think this machine is some sort of scanner. If I'm right, maybe you can tell if something's, anything's wrong with your body or something. Really? I don't know. Just seemed like maybe it's what it is. Well, this is a machine, I guess. Can't find a power button. Me either, but there's a toy coming from the back. See? Yeah. That's a USB cable. You think we are supposed to plug it into something? There appears to be a main body of whatever the machine is. Large machine. Oh, uh, so I need... We need something for it. Okay. I understand. What about this vent? Pipes! Nothing suspicious here. 
No good. It won't open. It's locked. Let's check it, but I don't see a keyhole. There's no keyhole. I don't think we can open it. You're right. Guess we might as well leave these suckers alone for now. It's a protective suit. Keeps viruses and stuff out. Looks like there's a bunch of them. I still can't believe it. How can the whole outside world be infected with some virus? Yeah. It's too horrible. I hope it's not true. It it can't be. I think Zero Senior put these here just to mess with us. I hope you're right. There's a locker. I sure hope Quartz are right. <laughs> Why would you think of that right now? This locker's just reminded me of him. Aww. He's loved he loved hiding in them ever since he was this high. It's okay. He's on, like, the best team, so. Got this. Oh, here's the shapes. Thank God. This is the man I was telling you about. Remember I read it to you? Oh, you mean that thing? But how we had to wear the protective suits to enter the decompression chamber? Yeah. Well, there was another piece of paper in there. It has some kind of drawing on it. What? You have found an instruction manual for the outside of the pressure exchange chamber door. You can view it in the archive. Sure. Packed outside. That's all we got? Okay, well. What about these shapes? This is a chair, right? I'd call it a bench. Same difference. You put your butt on it either way. Huh? Anyway, you see those symbols on the top? Yeah, sits of them. Maybe it's a clue. The sit symbols on the bench drawn in yellow. Like, is that the order? I don't know how they correlate, though. Well, I know these are, like, flipped around. This one's ripped. Part of the seat is torn. Uh, we'll come back to it. Hmm, we have like, I mean, we have some stuff, but it's not, nothing like, too gripping right now, man. Back down then. Let's go check outside. Get a full scan of the place before we tackle what needs to be done. I guess. Oh, here. Now that we got these things on, can we go inside, right? What the hell? The handle still won't move. Maybe that touchscreen on the door unlocks it. What? That's a pain. Why would they do that? Security, maybe? Hmm. When you click the yellow guide ring, other rings will appear on the other points you can draw lines to. Click one of these two other rings to draw a line connecting the two. Repeat this process until you have connected all three pairs. Remember, however, that the lines should not overlap or cross one another. Right, let's do this. What? Okay, red to orange, yellow to green, white to black. Red to orange. Okay. Yellow to green, white to black. Okay, well, we'd have to do this. Dude, that was easy? Okay. Nice. I guess if you didn't have the manual, you wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> Good job. You did it. Nice work. We should be able to get through this now. Okay. We're in virus land. The wall is mostly made of thick pain glass or possibly plexi glass. I can see the other side of the room through it. Okay. Oh, I zoomed in. I kind of just wanted to look around. Tablet? Hmm, a tablet, huh? There's nothing on the screen. I don't think the power's on. Is there some switch or something? Not that I can find. 
Really? How the heck are we supposed to turn it on then? Take a closer look. It does have a it doesn't have a switch, but it does have a USB port. Maybe if we plug it in, it'll turn on? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Cool. There's the numbers also. Lots of good stuff here. Let me just look around first. There's another door. What's happening here? A box on the wall. What sort of box? Well, it's not a treasure chest, that's for sure. Maybe it's full of, like, electrical circuits and stuff? Forget about the bots. Look at the door. Do you notice anything? Like, what? This cable is red. A sheet of metal. No good. It's not going anywhere. Some thick cables. Some thick... <laughs> oh god, it's so scary. Okay, let's shut the door. What about this door? Oh. Hey, the store is welded shut. Oh, I didn't even see that. Looks like it. How are you so, so nonchalant? That door and the only way we came through the lets us in here are the only ways out of this room. See? So even if we did decompress the room, we still couldn't go outside? That's right. Obviously, I mean, you didn't think it would be that easy. This is a dead end. No. That's what I was trying to tell you. Didn't I say that it wasn't going to be easy before we got here? Think about it. There's no way in hell Zero seeing you would let us out that easy. Otherwise, what's the point of all this? But... Damn it. <sighs> and I was getting all hopeful. This sucks. Hey, Clover, where are you going? I'm going upstairs and taking this stupid thing off. It's not like I need it, right? It's hot and it's uncomfortable. I'm out of here. Wait! Wait! The Zero statue! Well, there she goes. Hmm. Oh, we're still in here. Clover, did you just blow something up? What the hell was that noise? I don't know, but I've got a bad feeling about this. I've got a bad feeling about that. Uh oh. Preparation complete. Now beginning decompression. Three, two, one. What the fuck? Why did that happen? Hell if I know. Why are you asking me? We need to get out of here now. Come on. It's the she left. Dumbass. Wait, I need to look. It's okay. It'll be fine. Let me look at the zero statue and get my notes. That's all I want. Ugh. Ugh. It's so fat. God, it got big. Must be the difference in pressure. Oh shit, it actually did get big. You ever taken an unopened bag of chips to the top of a mountain or something and it gets so puffed up like it's gonna pop? No, but it sounds cool. Same sort of thing, I guess, but this is just... Looks like it might be about to pop. Okay. Why? It's too fat. M my god. What's wrong? The needle's all the way to the left. The pressure here is zero. Zero? That means we're in a vacuum. Yeah, that's about the size of it. Shit. Without the suits, we'd be toast. Key. There's a key up here. Have you seen any keyholes around here? Don't think so. Hmm. Locker, maybe? I don't want to press shit right now. Okay, hold on. Oops. Clipped off. I'm going. I need to take a note of this for sure. Okay. Notes, notes, notes. Memo. Delete these trash memos. Oh, I remember that failure. All right, let's go. This will be the scribble. Okay, wait, I sh Why are we doing that like that? We'll just go two, five, one, four, six, 
three. Beautiful. Okay, now we'll fuck around with the buttons, I guess. Or can we just leave? Can I leave? Nope. Thanks, Clover. Shit. It won't budge. Just use the panel, remember, like you did to get us in here. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Pressure different. Joe is too great to open the door. Shit. Damn. I guess we're going to have to equalize the pressure before we can get it open. Clover tilted, and now we're in a deadly situation. As per usual, I guess. What the hell are you doing? That's the decompression button. It's not going to do us any good now. That should be the pressurization button. Hit it, right. Insufficient power for the repressurization. Please route additional power. Well, that's that, I guess. Damn it. Oh my god. I wonder if. Poke. Oh my god, we killed. Big bunny, and that little bunny was inside. <gasps> it popped. Don't worry. I think that was the point. See, there's something inside. Is this a doll? Apparently, it was inside the other Zero Junior. There was a Zero Junior inside of the Zero Junior. Well, one was Chunky Zero Junior. Zero Junior doll. Uh, color coded. What's happening here? Hmm, this thing is pissing me off. Well, I don't like it either, but we don't really have a choice, do we? If it's here, then it's probably part of one of these puzzles. Not that damn thing's. No, that damn thing's not gonna help us out of this room. Just leave it, we can come back to it later. Well, it's in our hand. Power! Some thick cables. How do we redirect the power? There's a red cable out of the box. I don't have shit. Oh. Oh, key. Key, key, key. Maybe. Hey, the plate's rattling. Is there a junior's explosion? Probably not to lose. Okay. Good. I think we can maybe get it off now. Give me a hand. Fine. Ooh. What the? So we're trying to power up that. And it has... Sorry. Oh, Move. So it, these two need to be connected. A purple cable fitting. There's something here. There's a yellow one and a purple one. Let's say they're part of some kind, kind of the machine. This, this is, this is a laser emitter. What the hell? That sounds like something from a kid's show. Well, what am I supposed to call it? That's what it is. What does it do? Focuses and emits a high intensity laser. They're usually used to transmit energy. Then think I'd find one of them here. Whatever. Come on, let's hook it up. Hook it up to what? The end of one of these cables. Yellow laser emitter. I can put it at the end of the table. Okay, so we need to do the top two. But like... Oh my god, there's more. There's more over here. They look like just the other ones. One's yellows and one's purple. Okay. So we have red bots. I believe... We do this. We do this. But what's the point? Oh my god, that's so annoying. It's probably a hockey, but I don't remember. No, we need to do that. Okay. Oh, 
What the heck? What the hell was that? Maybe it's the pressurizer system starting up. It should have enough power now. Good, maybe we can get out of here. Okay, that was a fucking fluke. I was just playing around, dude. <laughs> well, that worked out. We didn't even need to do the other stuff. Nice. All right, press it. Press the damn pressurization button on it. Repressurization preparation complete. Repressurizing now. Three, two, one. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Well, that worked out. Look, the needle's back to normal. Thank goodness. Looks like we did it. Did Clover even like wait outside for us or she just like did not care, huh? It's not gonna earn you bonus points with us. Well, let's get out of here. All right, we've restored pressure. We should be able to use the door panel now. Just like when we came in, right? Let's go. So weird, we have to do this again. And it's like the exact same thing. Guess it is just security. Oh. It's different. Shit, this is harder than I thought. Wait, wait. Am I crazy? Oh, we don't have the inside manual. Is it not here? Oh, it's... Hey, do you think we can break the window with the bench? Are you insane? The windows has to stand up against ridiculous pressure differences. We're not going to break it with a bench. Okay, I don't know how to get out of here, though. We don't have the code. Oh, maybe in here? The pieces are so junior scattered all across the floor. It's almost sad. What are you doing? There's no point in raising the pressure any higher. Let's get out of here before something else happens. Listen, ten Miyoji. If you didn't notice, we're freaking. I don't know the combination. I guess we can just try, but like, it seems wrong. <laughs> Or did we, was there more? There might have been more. No. Nothing. Oh. Help. Hey, Clover. Clover, can you hear me? You don't need to yell. Huh? These helmets must have a radio. We should have realized that earlier. How else would we have been able to talk to each other after we put them on? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just that it's time another moment and everything. It looks like you guys are locked in there. I tried to open the door, but it wouldn't budge. So, what should I do? Can you look around to see if there's anything useful? You mean over there? Yeah. To direct Clover by clicking on objects on the other side of the glass. Ah, uh, box? Clover, is there anything in that box? Uh, no, it's just empty. What's in, what's the dodge say? It hasn't changed. It's showing pressure on this side, 1.5 atmospheres. Hey, Sigma, what? Doesn't it look like there's something under that magazine? Huh? What, here? Hey, Clover, look under the machine. Oh, machine, not magazine. I was like, what are you talking about? Here? 
Yeah, do you see it? It looks like a binder. Yeah, I see it. Pick it up. Is there anything in it? Okay, hold on. This is... Hey, what is it? There's a piece of paper in here. A piece of paper? It's just like the one I found in the manual. Oh no, wait, it's a little different. The picture's similar, but I guess it's not the same. What's it of? Um, uh... How do I explain this? There are three color circles, and they're connected to other circles. Uh, you're not making any sense. I mean, Tenmyoji, she's making a lot of sense. It's obviously the code. <laughs> but yeah, just bring it here. It's way easier. Right. Ha, this is perfect. If you can just connect the dots like this. Okay, what is it? Oh, that's my memo. <laughs> uh, inside. White to purple, yellow to red, blue to green. White to purple, yellow to red, blue to green. White to purple, yellow to red, blue to green. White to purple, yellow to red, blue to green. Mm. Let's try getting blue to green first. Well, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Shit, retry. How do we get white? This is harder for sure. Like, what's what's the ways to get white to purple? Because there's only like two ways. Let's go upper. Yellow to red. Oh wait, that's yellow to blue. Whoops. Let's try this first. Yellow to red. Oh wait, this switch's fine, actually. Okay, not bad, not bad. Good work. What's going on? Did you guys unlock it? Yeah, looks like it. Hold on, I'm opening it now. Okay. Well. Welcome back. I'm glad you're okay. Thanks to you, Clover. You would have been toast without you, thanks. You also put us in this situation, but it's okay, you're cute. Aww. That's okay, you don't need to thank me. <laughs> I like the teamwork. This is looking like a nice ally angle. Oh yeah, key. Key, key, key. Let's use the key. Here. Huh? The key doesn't fit. Why do you try the not lock your next to it? Good, it opened. Cheeky little book, huh? Is this a journal? Looks like it's blank. Not much. Wait, there's a slip of paper in here. This is. Found a sheet of paper with colorful shapes on it. Where? Oh god, okay. Anyways, guys, I'm sorry to say, but we're gonna have to wrap this episode up. We're already past the hour mark, and I am. Tired. It kind of sucks we're only finishing half the room, but yeah, it's getting pretty late. And, you know, I'll let you on in a little secret. I actually recorded last episode right before this one, so it's already a double header. So, yeah, I guess next time we'll finish up uh, this escape room. 
and hopefully see what everyone else has been doing and hopefully they'll be okay and maybe Ten Miyoji won't betray us smiley face. But yeah, until then, see ya. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Bye.